Hello everyone, welcome to Mentor School. My name is Ankit. Today uh, we'll be having a quick view on uh, BTP Auto Scaler service. Okay, and this is guys really really important service for any business. Okay, and if you just get to know about this, then definitely you're 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 going to agree with me. So what is Auto Scaler service? The name itself says Auto Scaling. Okay, so what happens here, right? Let's say you built an application, you deployed this application, and now there are a lot of users are accessing this one application, right? Uh, maybe this is your website where you are uh, selling a lot of uh, product to public out there, and you have deployed this uh, application or developed this application on BTP and deployed again on BTP, right? So this is an application running maybe in Cloud Foundry environment, okay? And one of the app instances is running here. Suddenly what happens during Diwali or New Year sale, right? And you, you see that a lot, a lot of uh, users are coming up and uh, accessing my application. And you see in your application logging service that your CPU is getting utilized 90, 95%. And now your application is not responding well because it is crashing. Maybe there are a lot of load. It is not able to uh, uh, you know, provide the service to these many users because of the resources behind your applications are less and your application logging service is also showing something and your alert notification service is sending a lot of emails to you because you have configured alert notification service here if this are these all things happening your cpu is utilized more than 90 percent all please let us know so then your auto scaler service will come in a picture and automatically scale the resources behind the scenes so what it'll do is it automatically launch multiple instances of same application will distribute the user loads across those application and uh, will increase the resources behind the scene, maybe the CPU power or memory or whatever resources required, right? And then you will see your application logging service is showing good health, okay? And that's how your auto scaler service is going to uh, help you manage these many requests coming to your application. Also, as soon as the number of users will get uh, reduced, then automatically will release the resources, then will uh, start uh, decommissioning the instances it automatically created, right? But yes, you also can say, right, uh, Ankit, uh, you know, if it will keep increasing the more instances and more users are coming up and then definitely it is utilizing the resources behind scenes. So SIP is going to send you a big amount, right, for, for like a bill, right, to pay because you have utilized these many resources, right? Yes, that that's possible. Right, but you can configure this how many maximum instances it can create at any space level. Right, you have a space quota settings where you can uh, in mention how many maximum instances can be uh, created or how much do you want the paid resources start taking up when load goes more or it's up to you. It it uh, SAP leaves to you your decision how you want to manage this. Right, so what you have to do is you have to. Uh, subscribe auto scaler service you have to bind it with your application you have to do some configuration and then this will start helping your application in case of more load or less load auto scale up and uh, auto scale down okay so this is a quick view guys on this if you want to learn this is in detail about this service how to set up this in your environment uh, definitely uh, you know you can go ahead and uh, learn about this and like i said you know uh, this complete uh, once it is deployed then application running so i have again uh, given uh, you know if you go and see my youtube channel you will see there are a lot of uh, videos related to btp audit log management service btp alert notification service see this will send me alert hey your cpu is uh, reaching to 95 percent or btp transport management service. this is something which you will configure maybe before you deploy the application right and then btp continuous integration continuous delivery again is part of devops and then BTP application logging service, this will tell you the monitor, monitor the health of that application, right? Which may be uh, you need to scale up, scroll down and you have you can take some decision even on basis of that and BTP DevOps and uh, then BTP uh, auto scaler service we covered in this video, identity provisioning service, identity authentication service and then identity cloud identity services and then uh, Cloud connectivity, BTP connectivity service, BTP destination service, BTP build work zone. There are a lot of videos on all of these, uh, you know, uh, each service we have. And you can go ahead and uh, refer our YouTube channel, which is here. And you can go ahead and subscribe it so that any other services, if uh, we are uploading the video for, you can go ahead and learn. And there are a lot of other videos you can see, which are two hour, three or four hour long, which will give you very comprehensive end to end idea about uh, BTP. So 
And also we provide training on all these technologies. So you can, if you wanted to learn those, you can go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, raise an inquiry from us and you see that we have BTP administration training, BTP security training, BTP identity access governance training, BTP DevOps training, BTP development with CAP, BTP development with RAP, BTP extension shoot, BTP uh, integration shoot, and BTP build process automation, BTP build apps, BTP AI, and other SAC, data sphere, and data intelligence, data hub, or Signavi, or any other cloud uh, training on BTP, you can reach out to us and we'll be 100% help you out because uh, this is our expertise, okay? And uh, BTP is really not new for us. It has been very old for us because we have been doing and working and delivering training on this from last three, three and a half years. And uh, I also would like to just give a quick view on how we deliver our course. So normally if you see that this is a live batch, uh, instructor-led training batch, we are delivering right now, it's going on. And uh, you can see that the lecture one happened then the video uploaded for that lecture and then PPT uploaded and then uh, assignment for that day and same for second day video and assignment. And then again, third day video, PPT assignment, fourth day video, PPT assignment. So everything you get very organized and and there are a lot of things you have to practice. We'll do a lot of hands on, uh, which will definitely give you a, a productive uh, environment experience uh, when you learn with us and at then we'll conduct a mock test and also we'll provide you course completion certificate so if you're looking for any of these courses please reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you thank you so much please go ahead and like subscribe and uh, share the channel so that other people also can utilize thank you so much bye, -bye.